From Otto's description and the results of facial sketches, they manage to find a red-haired child in a house. Kevin, Bob and Stuart rushed into the house to meet the boy. But Otto saw a man coming out of the garage on a big motorcycle. He was wearing a Zodiac stone necklace. The man left. Otto called Kevin. But Kevin didn't hear. There was no time. Otto chased the man on a bicycle. In the house Kevin asks the red-haired boy. Where is the Zodiac stone that Otto gave him? He said he had given the stone to his uncle. Because his uncle's style was more suited to the Zodiac stone. Kevin, Stuart and Bob leave the boy because they can't find out where the Zodiac Stone is. As soon as Kevin sees a bus that says San Francisco, they immediately chase the bus. Meanwhile Otto almost desperately pursues the man who used the Zodiac Stone necklace. In the midst of despair, the man came to Otto and handed the Zodiac Stone to Otto. He was kind and asked where Otto was going. Otto immediately replied that he had to go to San Francisco. The man was willing to take Otto to San Francisco. He happened to be heading to the beach and would drop Otto off halfway. Otto was very happy to be given a free ride. While Bob, Kevin and Stuart arrive in San Francisco, Bob points to the blue house in front of them, at the address Wild Knuckles gave him when he asked for a ransom over the phone. Bob, Stuart and Kevin infiltrate by disguised as plants. However, the Wild Knuckles men who were training in the yard were suspicious of the flower pots moving. He then checked the flower pot which turned out to be Bob, the Yellow Minions. Kevin and Stuart attacked Knuckles men, but those who couldn't do much decided to run away. Knuckles men chased Bob, Stuart and Kevin to Chinatown. Minions escape around the Chow Acupuncture Clinic. Kevin, Bob and Stuart were beaten badly by Wild Knuckles men right in front of the Chow Acupuncture Clinic. This made a woman acupuncture therapist who was there felt disturbed. She went out to meet Wild Knuckles men, but one of Wild Knuckles men belittled the woman by calling her an old woman. Unable to accept being called an old woman, the woman then beat three of Wild Knuckles men so that one of them fell down helplessly. The woman turned out to be an ancient Shaolin Kung Fu master named Master Chow. Bob then begged Master Chow to teach them Kung Fu. Although at first she refused, Master Chow finally agreed to become a Kung Fu teacher for the three minions. The three minions were then taught to hit a dummy, a special dummy to learn Kung Fu. Then they were also taught how to break wood. In a different place, precisely at Gru's house, Vicious Six destroys Gru's house for the Zodiac Stone which has been stolen by the minions boss. From minions also Vicious Six obtains information that Gru is with Wild Knuckles in San Francisco. Vicious Six thought Wild Knuckles were dead but were still alive, and the Vicious Six will soon be visiting San Francisco, to Wild Knuckles' home.